Good morning, ladies and gents. New shave today. How y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing pretty good because I'm doing pretty good too. Now, got some stuff in here that's kind of new and kind of old school. <laughs> Anyways, let's start off with brush we're going to be using today. Today we're going to be using something new for me. I just got this a few weeks ago. Phoenix Arson Accoutrements Phantom Aerolite 26mm Spectral Synth Knot. I think everyone's seen this one already, but yeah, it's supposed to resemble, I believe, a swimming, like what a swimming pool looks like. Very, very cool looking though. It's got that swirls in there. Looks really, really cool. So this is the brush we're going to be using today. Big, beefy handle. Bigger than the uh, Amber Aerolite. So yeah, the brush we're going to be using today. Boom. Razor we're going to be using today is something I've wanted since I've seen Ken Surf hat get it at Big Shave Swest. Not the last one. It didn't ever happen. The one before that. Put it off, put it off, put it off. Finally, I'm like, I'm going to get one. So, what are we getting? Edwin Jagger 316 Stainless Steel. And, yeah, I got the red one because I wanted the red one. Ken surf has got the blue one. I'm like, I want the red one, dude. Now, when you open it, I don't know if anyone's ever pointed this out before. It's kind of cool. They got their crest. It's right here, too. I know you open the box that way. But... You know, that's their crest as well. I think they did that on purpose. Attention to detail. Very nice. So, not a new razor. I mean, this has been around for a while, but yeah, that's what we're going to be using today. Edwin Jagger 316. And I kind of like how they did that. 316, 316L stainless. Yeah, very creative. I like that a lot. I like creative stuff like that. Anyway, we're not using the feather blade in there. No, we only got three days worth of growth, so... Not much, but we are going to be using, again, like last time, Gillette 7 o'clock black second use. Yeah, my handwriting's horrible. So that's the really blade we're going to be using, because that was a really good blade last time. That was a really close, good shave. I really don't need, I mean, you can see the growth, but we're still going to do a video. Fits in there very, very nice. I've heard nothing but good stuff about this razor. Heard it smoother than an Edwin Jagger DE89 as well, and that red, oh, you know I'm a Red Wing fan. <laughs> I think it looks so cool. And it locks it in there really, really well. Really tight. Minimal overhang on it. But you guys already knew about this stuff, right? Yeah. I'm always late to the game, but whatever. The razor we're going to be using. Soap we're going to be using. Something I've reviewed a long time ago, about a year ago. And I think out of all the Phoenix artists... Out, no, rewind. <laughs> out of all the Razor Emporium scents that I actually own at the moment, this is one of my favorite ones. It's top notch. And I don't know why anybody else doesn't know about this or use this very much maybe they do but they don't i don't know whatever we're using razor emporium old school yes very 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 nice scent to me the scent profile are notes of vetiver clover patchouli leather black pepper frankincense clover yeah clover i think i wrote that twice didn't i yeah aloe tobacco bay leaves and white musk now the leather hits me first that's what stands out the most is the leather Think high-end luxury car, not your Toyota Prius or a Honda, whatever. I'm thinking expensive Barrett Jackson type. Ah, oh, interior. That's what I'm getting. That's what my sniffer's getting. I like this scent a lot. This is awesome. Be good. You learn, learn how to do lighting, Chris. Yeah, I need to learn how to do lighting. So that's what we're doing today. Some water on there. Dump that out. Appreciate it. we're gonna be using this. Phoenix Artist and Coutrements Cube 2.0. In the Ice Cube version. What? Straight out of Casa Grande. Pretty little pre shaved cube named Ice Cube. Chill and pre shaved soap with attitude. You guys remember when I did that video, right? My guys old school remember when I did that? <laughs> Ice Cube. Yep, not out of Compton. <laughs> pre shaved cubes with attitude. I'm gonna rub it. <laughs> yeah. How you guys doing today? It's Saturday. Sabado Gigante. You guys ever watch that? I used to. What? Yeah. <laughs> Sabado gigante. Giant Saturday. Alright, let's get this brush. Let's get this started. Ow. Let's get this started. 
haven't used this brush though. He's new to me. It's like the razor never used that either, but I've heard nothing but good stuff about it, so. Razor Emporium. Now, Razor Emporium does have a new soap I'll call Element 47, which I do have, but they don't have the splash and the uh, balm ready yet, so. I'm not gonna do a review until I get that. But I do have the puck. Go check it out. <laughs> Look this up. <sighs> Element 47, yeah. We're using old school today. Old. I love this scent. It's almost barbershoppy, but it's not barbershop. It's leather forward. Like I said, think, think high-end luxury car. That's what my nose is getting, and I think it smells really, really good. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> ah! I was gonna actually do the lathering off camera because it takes so long, but oh well. <laughs> Try and make shorter videos. But whatever. Very, very floppy. Big, big brush. All right. <laughs> Three days worth of growth. And we're using that 7 o'clock again, because that was a damn good shave. That shaved really, really well. And with that uh, alphaclyptic slant, oh, it was close. Face was feeling real, real good the last couple days, so. You use good products, you get good results. Alright, I think I should do it. I think, I'm, I think we are good. I cannot speak. I'm a Mountain Dew. <laughs> All right. And a block. There was no Chris forget that. Oh well. I like using Allen block on my razor just to give it that. Even if it's a good grippy razor, I like that extra grippiness. So that's just me. You do your own thing. It's your shade. You do it your way. All right. Pass number one. Seven o'clock black. Second use. Brand new 316 red anodized first pass. That is very smooth. That's nice. Wow. Right off the bat. Yeah. I'm not clearing no run wave. That is smooth. Ooh, that is smooth. These 7 o'clock blacks, I can see why y'all love these so much. These are damn good. Oh my god, yeah. You can feel the blade feel, but... That's smooth. I like that. Man, I should have got this earlier. Oh well. Got one now. Yeah. Going up. My hair grows. This is going with the grain when I shave. This is me going against the grain. That's why you got to learn your own facial pattern. Not everybody's down and up. Everyone's different. Just like Scott the Clean Shaver. Scott the clean shaver likes using a straight razor, but he uses a DE because he like his growth grows like this, and there ain't no way you're getting a straight razor cutting like that. So, you guys remember him? Yeah, I miss that guy. I miss his videos. I still watch him too. Plenty of your borrow the desert shaver too. I understand Scott the clean shaver is a busy man, but yeah. <laughs> He has some awesome content. Shave it up.
One weeper, oh well. One weeper so far, oh well. Still really smooth. Very nice. Very, very nice. Got one weeper there. Oh well. Whatever. Oh, a little bit too much water. Too much water? Chris never uses too much water. He always uses not enough water. <laughs> oh, it's a banger of a scent, man. I don't know why this one falls under the radar. This one's awesome. I said, one of my favorite ones from uh, Razor Emporium. Okay. Pass numero dos. Very, very good. Smooth but efficient. I like this razor. Good combination with the black too. One weeper, man. I think I'll get it with no weepers. The last one was good for the weepers. Weepers, weepers. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm good. I'm doing my fish. Nice profile head, too. I can see this as a daily driver razor. It's smooth, but it's it's efficient. It is smooth. So far, to me, it seems smoother than a D889. Glad I finally got one. <laughs> eh, this is it right there. That's not a weeper. That's a stupid zit. Good. Oh my gosh. Good. All right. What we got? Okay, one weeper there. One weeper. That's it, though. That was damn good shape. You're right back. <laughs> <coughs> okay, I'm back. Yeah. Damn good smooth shape. That was a zit. One weeper there, one weeper there, lar, hard. Other than that, damn fine shit. That was very good, very close, fishing. That was awesome. All right, something I didn't use in the last review I did a year ago. Man, a year ago I'd use this soap. Anyway, after Stink <sighs> Razor Emporium has splashes and they have bombs. I freaking wanted to get one, so I thought, should I get that one or should I get the other one? No, I got both because I think I'm. <laughs> I got both because I wanted both. That's how we're going to say it. So, what we're going to do first is Razor Emporium Old School Aftershave Splash. Now, when you look at this, this is an aftershave splash. has alcohol in it, but check that out. Very, very cool, right? So, you got, I believe you got to shake this up. And then it turns into this. Nice, nice. Now, I haven't used this yet. You can see I haven't cracked it yet. Ooh. Different from the soap. Oh my gosh, I should have got this last time. 
Oh, that smells good. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. It's not more, it's not, the soap to me is more leather forward. This is, all the other ingredients come out. This, I like that a lot. I don't know how to describe it. It's fresh, it's clean, a little musky, almost barbershoppy. Different from the soap. The soap to me is more leather forward. This, there's the leather. Oh my God, I love this. This smells so damn good. Holy sh... <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna apply Razor Emporium Old School Balm on top of that. So that splash already looks like it's almost balmy, but it's got some, that must mean it has some really good stuff in it. On Instagram. <laughs> All right. Balm. You dropped the balm on me, baby. Turn the heat up, man. Mm -mm. Yeah, much the same. Mm -mm. Oh, don't need much either. Wow. That smells good. I think I like the scent of the splash a little bit more than the balm. But that's just me. That balm just, or that splash is, God, that smells good. All right. It's leathery, it's almost barbershoppy, it's, I don't know why no one, oh, hell this one's not more popular. I think it smells really dank in it. All right, creep. We didn't even use Allen Block, oh well. Recap what we used today, Razor Emporium Old School Aftershave Balm. That damn's it. We also used Phoenix Razor Emporium Old School I'm so used to saying that in my videos all the time, right? Razor Emporium Old School Aftershave Splash. That smells amazing. Oh my God, that smells so good. We also we used PAA Allen Block. We also used Phoenix Arson Accoutrements Phantom Airlight 26 millimeter brush. Very cool looking swirly swimming pooly goodness in there. We used Edwin Jagger 316, 316 L stainless, red anodized razor. Very damn good razor. That is amazingly good. With the Gillette 7 o'clock black, second use. And the star of the show, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. Razor Emporium, old school shaving soap. Very, very nice. A couple more weavers. Oh, well. Very, very good soap. I think it's amazing. The splash is awesome. Balm's pretty good. I just like the splash um, scent more than that. And that's that's it. The shave of the day, ladies and gents. So, anyway, <laughs> hope you ladies and gents have a good day, good week, good shaves. Got more to come. And you pay Ice Cube, too. Forgot that last shave, too. Anyway, <laughs> see you ladies and gents soon. Bye.